Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to make a couple of designs and really our inspiration for today's designs are going to be these insulation tubes. Now these are ones you get just for basically going around uh, pipes, so for keeping the, the cold out, stopping them freezing in the winter, but they're actually re really useful. I bought some for decorating my polytunnel or covering the tubes on the polytunnel that I was going to make to stop the heat attacking the, the plastic. So I had a few of these and uh, I thought this would be a really good uh, item to use just to see what we could do with it. So there's lots of options. You can cut it into little circles, you can cut it into strips, you can even use it like this. You can use it as a container um, and make like a composite container with it. So it's got lots of options. Uh, but we're going to make a couple of designs using that and really using these little dishes here. Uh, so these are just like a laminate plastic dish. So nothing fancy, but I really like the look. And I think it just goes perfectly with the actual colour of these tubes as well. So before we start, I just want to mention my apron. Um, <laughs> one of our viewers basically got in touch to say that they love the videos. Uh, but that I might be interested in their products that they do. So this is what they do. They basically make aprons and it's a company called Mahi. We'll leave all the details at the end of the video. So if you click on this, the description, you can see where it's from and, uh, and their website. And they have quite a range of different ones. Now they actually thought that um, I might be interested in one. They do one that's made of cork that's quite eco-friendly. Um, but I wasn't so keen on the look. It really looked quite 70s. And I'm quite a 70s person, as you know. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so I've got a nice new apron and uh, we don't tend to promote things, but I have to say it is really well made and um, I'm looking forward to using it for doing different things. So, the first thing we need to do for our design is basically add some water. So all I've got in my dish is a pin holder or a Kenzen and then just the dish. So we're going to keep this really, really simple. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use, uh, yeah, these ones. <laughs> so all I did with the, the tube was take it and split it right down the actual tube. And that's given me some length. Then I just went round with a pair of scissors and just tidied them off a little bit. So this is going to give us our um, line really for our design and uh, I'm just using um, the edge of the knife, the blunt edge of the knife just to attach that. So with these pins we're able to do that really easily. So what we'll do is we'll just work our framework here. Now I think when you're making a design and you're wanting to showcase something, so if you're wanting to showcase the colour, then really showcase the colour. If you're wanting to showcase the texture, really showcase the texture. So in this we want to showcase our, uh, our tubing basically. So we don't want to hide this in any way. We want to make this really the feature. I'm just cutting these at a little bit of an angle when I've decided where I'm going to put them. So essentially with this we're going to keep the flowers more secondary rather than um, the main thing because really the main thing with this is going to be the negative space, the line of the actual, I mean, isn't that fab? So we've already got this round edge on our dish. The color works perfectly, and this is gonna be a great background, but we've got some beautiful enclosed space here, and um, we really don't need a lot of flowers to actually work this out. So flower-wise, I just really went out into the garden to see what I have. And um, I do have some lovely ivy leaves, not ivy leaves, grape leaves. 
and um, it's just that time of year and the, the grapevine is just looking amazing. So straight away we're getting quite a dynamic uh, effect from using the leaves. And this is also giving us the added advantage of uh, helping to hide our pin holder. Um, so that is a good way of doing it. Just want that leaf to sit up a little bit. If it sits down flat into the design, it just looks a little bit, well, flat. So let's just make sure that he's raised up. Now obviously if you are using your knife to skewer things on, just be careful because you still have the sharp edge. Yeah, that's better. So, just to tie in with that, I've got some lovely marguerite. Now this one is a yellow one as opposed to the white one. And I just think this is so cute. And we're just going to leave it at that. So essentially what we've got is we've got a very dynamic arrangement in the sense of enclosed space and line, but we're contrasting that with a punch of colour and just a single flower, but also the texture from our uh, foliage that goes with Marguerite. Now, if you wanted, you could move that around. I'm just looking at the way that the flower is actually facing and you can make it front facing or you can make it all round. So that's our first design, which I think is quite fun. And for our next design, again, I'm gonna use one of these um, melanin dishes. Now actually, basically these are available in Holland. So if you know a florist or someone who uses Dutch flowers, then they can probably source these for you through their supplier. So again, we're going to use a Kenzen. Kenzen's really good because you can reuse it again and again and again. And um, just a little bit of water for our flowers. So what I did with this one was I've cut them into little sections, into little circles. And initially I thought, right, could I wire this to keep them all together? And then I got bored of that because it took forever. So I just used cold glue. And the cold glue, I have to say, worked so much better. Um, so we've got a range of these and uh, again I've got some interesting flowers. Now let's go in a different direction. This is um, lavender and it's one that I've got in the garden that's just a little bit scraggy but it has some interesting growth. And just want to tidy it up a little bit. What I liked about it was the colour is quite interesting. So we're just going to draw that down onto our pins and then pull it in the direction that we want to work in or I want it to go to. So we're creating a little bit of a base for our flowers there. Now the flowers that I want to use for this one are these perennial chrysanthemums. We've got them in the garden, they just come up and they are amazing actually, they're really really good. So I do want to use some quite low down. I like the idea with a bowl that you actually are looking into the bowl and um, the other advantage of working some materials there is that we can then look at using those materials to help support this. But again, we can still skewer these onto our um, onto our um, 
pins, which is perfect. So I think the real beauty, if you haven't got a Kenzen uh, for owning one, is that it allows you to make flower arrangements regularly in your own home with whatever materials you have. And it, you don't have to spend a lot of money on flowers, but you can create something that's interesting. You can be creative. You can um, basically work with materials that you have, with the seasons, um, with with basically what you have, uh, which is important because we don't have all the time in the world to make uh, or to get things and source different things. Um, I could add a little bit of height, but I think these are, are a bit heavy. So I don't think, I, I really like it with the flowers just inside. And also with the water, we can actually just float a flower onto the surface, same as with these rings. So I think this is really interesting because we're looking at the material and we're having to think to ourselves, what is that? We have to look twice. And that's quite important when you're making a flower arrangement. You can make a flower arrangement that looks nice, but you wouldn't give it a second look. So if you can add an element where there's a little bit of interest, then it will make people look twice, which is quite important. And then obviously we can stagger these to make the arrangement come out with the actual container as well. So another interesting idea with this design was just to bring a couple of these little uh, rings up into the top of the actual arrangement. So straight away, instead of the, the feature being down here, we've given it a little bit of height, which has given it a bit more impact. So I think just adding a couple up here and then taking a few down onto the table space as well, just really highlights that actual product. So now we've got a line of the actual feature rings going through the design on a different plane, but also that little bit of height. So just something uh, to keep in mind is once, once you finish, step back, take a look. If you're taking a photograph, that's when you tend to notice something that you could have done and just change it. It's not a problem to do that. It's actually worth um, thinking along those lines and creating something a little bit better by doing that little change. So just add one or two up the top and uh, it'll give it a bit more impact. So two simple arrangements, quite quick to make, ideal for making for your home, for yourself, and for you just to enjoy the process because it's quite therapeutic. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video, something a little bit different, something a little bit fun, and uh, hopefully you feel inspired to have a look at different materials that are around about you and how you could possibly use them. If you've not already subscribed, then click here to subscribe. We've got new videos every week and we would really love it if you could join us for future videos. So thanks for watching, have a look at the aprons and uh, we hope to see you soon. Take care.